So what I want to do first of all to simplify this down a little bit is just to take a couple of joints out of the system here and, and show you what's going on. But before I do that, I just want to really show that these five joints here are all in exactly the same place. So what we can see here is we come into this, this joint and we can see that all five, if I bring up the, the rotate manipulator, are all in identical positions. You can see they're all in exactly the same place and, and we really want this for a reason. And I can sort of further show this by just changing the radius of each one of these guys. So just the first one's five, next one's four, uh, next one's three and two. And you can see now that, that we've got uh, five joints in identical positions. There's the first one, second one, third one. And it's just we're just moving down the hierarchy fourth and the fifth one is like the little one in there so that just gives you a, a good overview that all of these joints are in exactly the same spot now what I want to do is I'm just going to unparent a whole bunch of these and we're just going to leave ourselves with the skin joints only so first of all I just want to take those out and I'm just also going to take out the, the all the null joints here so just the jaw null joint here. And, and then we can kind of bring back these skin joints back in and we'll just parent them underneath the head joint. So now we've got the head, head joint and we've got these three joints in exactly the same positions. And I'm just gonna go in here and hide these guys for the time being. And I might make these, this first one, just a radius of three. So we can see that a little bit clearer. And I've actually parented this to the top of the head when I really want to parent it to the head skin. So there we go. So now you can see that we've got these three three joints here uh, all in the same place. And this is really this, the why I call it the, the three joint jaw setup is because there's actually three joints that the mesh is skinned to. So let's switch back on the polygons and you'll notice that everything's still cool. And uh, let's have a look at this. So if we rotate the first one, we're really rotating this top part of the face. Um, and I'm also gonna go in here and just disable these, these uh, blend shape, corrected blend shapes. Just to show you the pure skinning and the simplicity of this. So uh, that's the skinning for the top uh, individual skin joint. The bottom individual skin joint is here and the lower skin joint is here. Now we can really see this quite clearly when I come in here and the paint skin weights tool. And we can see that I've only skinned up the, I'm gonna get rid of that outliner. So sorry, do that again. Paint skin weights tool. So you can see I've only uh, skinned up the ones that are underscore skin, that head null actually could just not be there. It's, it's not doing anything. You can see that it's not skinned to anything. So uh, so here we have this, this face. Now, if we go through the jaws, these are the ones we're really worrying about. This, uh, that jaw end doesn't have to be there either. It's not skin to anything. We can see uh, the, the jaw, jaw top lip individual. We can see what that's skin to. Let's start with the body. So the body's there. Then we've got the neck next. Head, uh, all that top area. Um, and then we've got the top lip, top lip individual there we go and the bottom lip individual and then the chin all together so it's these three it's the one two three all three of those uh, that we're using to actually control this rig and you can kind of see this again in the outliner if we were to come in here and just grab those three joints you can sort of see that that's the bottom area of the skin Skinning there. Now I'm going to uh, also hide those teeth because the teeth are head parts and the top jaw. Top jaw, just hide that. So those teeth don't get in the way. Now, as you can see, rotating all these joints together, those skin, those teeth are still there. They're pesky little things. Uh, now you can see all these three joints here together. 
sorry, those three together uh, are representing that sort of part of the jaw. Now we can rotate just the bottom two, and there, that's the, the jaw kind of opening, and then the chin by itself is just the chin. Now we could of course just parent these to each other, so we could just parent the, the bottom lip to the top lip, and then open that up, and then the chin to the bottom one. And now we've just got a very simple hierarchy from the jaw, three joints in exactly the same place in the jaw end. Uh, now if we rotate the top one, you can see that whole thing moves. And this is very similar to what I was showing you guys before, and I'm going to switch those joints off again. Uh, this is exactly what was happening when I was rotating this before. So we've got that skin joint there, we've got the bottom one happening, we've got and the chin joint happening as well. Now this is uh, a method that I used for quite a while until I realized that we can actually separate these and uh, put a couple of null joints in there because the good part about this system uh, is as well is if we actually are to unparent these joints, just have them sort of floating in space so they're not parent to each other. If you do sort of move around this top lip, you can get that sort of a, an effect of the mouth opening that looks really terrible because there's no teeth in there, but um, this, this sort of comes in handy and you can sort of see it comes down sort of starting to pinch because the weighting's not quite correct. But I often just correct that sort of a stuff with a corrective blend shape, so we'll get into that in the next lesson. Uh, but that's really the system, guys. Like, uh, as a first step, uh, what we need to do is create this hierarchy. So, uh, as a first step, we want to create our normal skeleton, and just where that jaw joint is, we just want to put three joints all in exactly the same place. There's the three joints right there. Now, uh, the first one, we can skin to the top lip. The second one, we skin to the bottom lip only. And the third one, we skin to the chin. Uh, and once you've got that up, you have to be a little bit uh, creative with your, your skinning. You have to really you know, get your skinning kind of working pretty well before you move on. But once that's there, we can then create uh, our null joints uh, with these two guys here. So I'm going to unhide these now. And let's make this guy here a little bit bigger so we can see him. Four. So we've got this top lip null and this jaw bottom lip rotation null. And I'm going to bring these back up and I'm going to parent them to the head as well. So now we've got under the head skin. And I'm just going to, uh, in fact, we can just delete that joint there. It's not doing anything. And I'm going to delete this one here too, just to show this a bit simpler. That end joint really doesn't do anything. It's just to orient these joints. Uh, similar with the head, the top of the head. So, <coughs> what, you, what just happened there? Let's just fix that up again. First power liner, and get that happening. Okay, so now we've got these joints all parented to each other. Uh, we're going to set up this hierarchy. So even, just to simplify it again for this tutorial, I'm gonna take them all out and just show you how to parent this together. So uh, we've got five joints all in the same way. The skin joints, these, these three are actually skinned to our mesh. Now what we can do is we can just start arranging them properly. So we want the top lip uh, control to really have everything underneath it moving. So if we grab all of the joints below and parent everything to that top lip, what this means now is that when we grab this top lip control, everything will move with it. And that's sort of what we're after there, is this sort of like move everything sort of a control. So now that we've got that, uh, we wanna have the chin, and the chin should always move, actually the chin is, is fine there, but the chin should move uh, with the bottom lip null joint. And same with the bottom lip, so we've got the secondary null joint here, and this is the jaw bottom lip rotation null, and it's just simply like a locator or a null joint uh, that just sort of sits there, it's not skin to anything. But what it does is we can just use it as a bit of a parenting cheat so that when we rotate it, the two skin joints below will move. And what that does is it gives us the individual control to still be able to uh, rotate the chin by itself and actually the, the mouth opening and closing. So I'm just gonna rearrange those two around the other way. <coughs> so that's the, that's the setup right there is 
we've got our top lip null, which is just a group that parents everything together. You could use groups, they don't have to be joints, uh, but I just prefer to duplicate them because they're all in the right spot already. Uh, and now we've got this jaw bottom lip rotation control that just moves those two by themselves. And in the next lesson, uh, what we'll show is going through and actually putting some corrected blend shapes on these guys. But just by default, even if you wanted to bash out an animation really quickly, you can see that if you get your skinning right, that's actually in a pretty good state, just for starters. Uh, you know, you can really get a fairly decent sort of an animation with some uh, lip shapes, uh, some blend shapes just for the lip sync. Uh, and the smile sort of shapes and frown and things like that. Uh, you could really bash out a pretty quick animation even with this, but to take the rig to the next level, it is kind of cool to do some corrective blend shapes, so let's do that in the next lesson.